Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Maggie and I am going to share with you my thoughts about some Queen Musea products that I received. I was gifted these products by the brand. The brand reached out to me, said I could pick three products and share my thoughts on them. Because the brand is new to me and I've never used any of their products before, I decided to use it for a, for a few days first. So I've used these products for about a week now. That gave me enough time to really play around with the products, see how I feel about them, and I'll share all of my thoughts in this video. This is the very first gifted products that I've ever received, and I'm so excited. Um, I have used these products for about a week now. I wanted to play around with them first, um, use them you know for a few days use them in different ways and gather my thoughts on them i chose two of the lipsticks and i also chose their mascara so the lipsticks and the mascara at the moment are the only products that the brand has on their website i'm not sure if they are planning on getting more products in the future the lipsticks come in these really cute futuristic like um, packaging mint green like a creamy pale mint green it reminds me a bit of um, mint ice cream in a sense and it has this shape i was i was playing around like this with it when i first got it because it's very mesmerizing when you move it and when you open it um here is the bullet with the lipstick so first what i'm gonna do is i'll quickly swatch the lipsticks on my hand and on my lips for you and then i will do a bit of a demo for the mascara and then afterwards i'll give my thoughts on the products i will leave timestamps if you're interested in certain products only before i get started on using the products i do have a discount code and i will leave it in the description box below and on screen and if you use the discount code, you can get 10% off. And I also have an affiliate link as well that I will leave in the description box below. So if you use my affiliate link, I'll get a little tip if you make a purchase and it won't change the price of the product to you in any way. And I would like to thank you if you do use those links because I will use the money that I make from those links to keep adding content to my channel. Okay, let's get started on the lipstick swatches. So I got the shades Montreux and Arda. And these were, I would say, the deepest shades in their range. So that's why I chose them. I was a bit scared to go lighter than these, so I chose these two. Um, and the first one that I'll swatch for you is Montreux. And these... These lipsticks are just super pigmented. So if I just if I just do this, it's just pigment from the first swipe. And Montreux is described as a Swiss balcony geranium shade. And I do see that it does look like, you know, the more of the corally geranium colors. And the other shade that I got was Ada or Ada. And it's more of a muted, like a terracotta shade. It's described on the website as an antique Tuscan terracotta. And I'll just do a light swatch on the top as well. These colors are super pigmented and they are described on the website as a matte cream lipstick and they also have skincare ingredients in these lipsticks as well so they're not meant to dry out the lips even though they have a matte finish okay i've come in closer i wiped my lips i didn't have any lipstick on my lips but i did have lip oil on so i just wiped that off and i'm going to start with ada i've already made a short on these lipsticks swatching them on with full pigment so what i'm going to do for this video is i'm going to start off start off applying it as a lip stain and then i'll build it up and if you want to see them swiped on directly from the bullet um, with full pigment then i will link my youtube short and instagram reel about 
um, with those in the description box below. This is what Aura looks like as a lip stain. And then let me build it up. And this is what Aura looks like with full pigment. And the next shade that I have is Montreux. I wanted to do this one last because I want to keep this on. Um, it's very fun spring color. I love it. So I'm going to do it as a stain first. This is what Montreux looks like as a lip stain. And now let's build it up. This is what Montreux looks like fully pigmented. What I like to do is I just like to pat out some of the color and then just remove it from the outer part of my lips just so that it gives it a bit more definition with my natural pigment. I'm going to do that quickly and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is how I've been wearing Montreux this week and I've been loving it. I love when it's not super pigmented. I apply it from the bullet and then I just pat out some of it because it's such a strong pigment and it still gives me this vibrant pop of color but it also kind of blends into the natural pigment of my lips and yeah this is how I like to wear this shade. The last product that I have is the mascara and it's called the 2053 mascara in the shade simply black. I'm going to come in I'm just gonna move my hair a little bit. Yes. I've moved my hair a little bit and so now let's apply the mascara. So this is one coat of the mascara. So at the moment, I have one coat of mascara on both my eyelashes. I'm going to build it up on one eye and then let's see what it looks like. On the left side of my face, I have two coats of the mascara and on the right side of my face, I just have one coat. I prefer how it looks with just one coat 
because I like more natural eyelashes. Um, it fans it out, it adds color, it lengthens it just a little bit. And that's how I like my eyelashes. But I do notice that if you add two coats, you do get a lot. Um, it does lengthen the lashes a bit more and it does look fuller and thicker. And they do say on the website that you can build it up up to three times, I believe. Um, I'm not going to do that because that's just going to be too much for me. I I feel like two coats is as bold as I would go with this with any mascara. So first I'll share my thoughts on the lipsticks. So I picked the two deepest shades that they have in their lipstick range. Um, they have they have some pinks. They have a pink, I think it's called Becky Shop. That's I think the brightest pink that they have. I was a bit on the fence of whether I wanted that or Montreux. But I'm glad I took Montreux because I love this shade. It's a very nice pop of... Um, coral pink for spring so I, I do like the shade I I have a feeling that Becky Shop might have been a little bit too pale for my skin tone um, but yes there's I, there's I think six shades in total formula of these lipsticks they're quite balmy so when you put them on they feel like a balm I guess that's why it's called a matte cream lipstick because it feels like a creamy balm when you put them on and they do have skincare products in these in this formula and in a sense that's that's really nice because it doesn't dry out your lips um, it does keep my lips nice and uh, moisturized throughout the day when I do use it but it does have still a matte finish so what I've noticed is when I first put it on and you might not notice it now because I tapped out some of the product but when I first put this product on um, it has like a demi matte finish it's not a true matte and I guess that's because of the skincare ingredients in the formula it has a, a very a, a slight subtle uh, sheen to it but I have noticed that after a few minutes it goes that that satin sheen goes away and it becomes a bit more of a true matte. So what you're seeing now on my lips is what it looks like throughout the day and it's a, a truer matte than when you first apply it on the skin. Because I like to wear it like this where I tap some of it out, um, I don't notice a lot of transfer if I do this. But if I just put it straight from the bullet, like this straight from the bullet does have a bit of transfer but I feel like because it's such a thick formula it doesn't transfer as much as your normal matte lipsticks so there's a bit of transfer for Montreux but most of it is still on my lips my only issue with these lipsticks is that these are the two darker shades. So I really hope that they come out with more shades. I would like to see a bright red and maybe a, a deeper pink in this formula because I do like the formula. Um, I just don't know if the lighter shades would suit me that well. Um, so I would like to see a deeper shade range. I hope they come out with more shades for these lipsticks because the formula is really nice. As for the mascara, it's a it's a lovely mascara. For me, one coat is perfect. It fans out the lashes. Um, I do notice that it doesn't curl your lashes up. So you may benefit from using an eyelash curler with this product um, because it doesn't naturally curl your lashes up. Um, but aside from that, it it creates a nice fanned out lash. Um, it doesn't clump together and and it's it's a very soft formula. So it's not like one of those mascaras that get 
hard and dry dried up throughout the day it still feels soft later on in the day if i do touch my eye so those are my thoughts on the queen musea products that i received i will leave all of the product names and my discount code in the description box below if you are interested in picking them up and trying them out for yourself if you enjoyed watching this video please give me a like and please subscribe if you would like to see more beauty content from me i hope that you have a lovely day Bye bye